Okay, so I took this video last spring. This was in early April. What I'm going to do is transplant some of these eastern red cedar trees. I planted these back, it would have been in 2009, and now they're the right size to transplant. They're only 8 to 10 inches tall when I first planted them. And I use the king of spades spade. I go all the way around the tree. I don't make the root balls on the eastern red cedars very big because these are very tough trees. They will grow right out of rock outcroppings and you can get away with a little bit smaller root ball on these trees than you can with a white pine or a Norway spruce. So all I do is I dig the tree up, just real careful to get a nice even root ball right there. What I'm doing here is I'm actually making a windbreak at the front of the property. So I moved the tree about a quarter mile to the west and I'm not going to burlap these trees because I'm not going to have them out of the ground long enough for them to really lose a whole bunch of moisture. Um, I use a Fiskars world's best shovel. It's an all steel shovel when I dig my holes. Now ordinarily if you're planting a tree in a landscape you're going to want to make that tree, the hole for that tree about two to three times the size of the root ball. But the problem I run into up here is that a lot of voles and mice will actually burrow into the holes that I use to plant the trees and then coyotes and foxes will come around try to get the voles and the mice out and they end up actually uprooting my trees. So I try to make all of my holes uniform so that the hole that I dig with the balling spade matches the hole that I dig uh, with the, the tree planting shovel I'm using right here. And I just go around and pack all the dirt in by hand around the roots real tight. And I try to get the tree as, as close to vertical as possible but actually sometimes if it's a little bit bigger cedar tree I'll lean the tree into the wind just a little bit because the wind up here almost always comes out of the west. And there I'm just trying to pack the dirt around the roots to get rid of any air pockets. And then this is the finished product. I did, I think there's 35 or 40 of these cedar trees that I transplanted in this line. And then hopefully in about four or five years I'll have a really uh, pretty windbreak right at the front of the property.